Blessed moment to our lovely believers in the Messiah. Grace unto you, and peace from the Almighty Creator our Father, and the Messiah our blessed Savior. O come let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Almighty Creator, our Maker, because He is very great. He is clothed with honor and majesty. He covers Himself with light as with a garment, and stretches out the heavens like a curtain. He lays the beams of His chambers in the waters, and makes the clouds His chariot. Yes, He even walks upon the wings of the wind. He makes His angels spirits, His ministers the flaming fire. O Creator, you are the one who laid the foundations of the earth, that it should not be removed forever. You are the one who covered it with the deep as with a garment. The waters stood above the mountains. At thy rebuke they fled. At the voice of thy thunder they hasted away. You appointed the moon for seasons. The sun knows his going down. You made darkness, and it is night, wherein all the beasts of the forest do creep forth. The young lions roar after their prey, and seek their meat from you. The sun rises, they gather themselves together, and lay down in their dens. Man goes forth unto his work and to his labor until the evening. O Almighty Creator, how manifold are thy works! Amen. With steadfast and humble hearts, we continue to focus on what the Creator is doing in our time, so that while applying ourselves to his principles and commands, we may have our testament in our time. In today's lesson, we are going to highlight what it means to be an overcomer. An overcomer is a believer who has been successful in defeating the world and the things of the world. They have been through tribulations, distress, persecutions, famine, nakedness, perils, and the list goes on. But yet, they are still standing by the grace of our Savior, the Messiah, basking in righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost, unseparated from the love of the Almighty Creator of heaven and earth. When we speak of the world and the things of the world, that the overcomer has victory over, it has to do with the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, all of which are not of the Father seeing that they are capable of plunging us on a path that separates us from him leading to death and complete destruction this is highlighted in first john chapter 2 verses 15 to 17 where it states love not the world neither the things that are in the world if any man loves the world the love of the father is not in him for all that is in the world the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the father but is of the world and the world passes away, and the lust thereof. But he that does the will of God abides forever. Firstly, in order to become an overcomer, we have to be born again. This means that we now believe that the Messiah is the Son of the Almighty Creator, who was sent to die for our sins and rose again, that through his blood we have forgiveness. This belief now paves the way for his Holy Spirit to dwell in us and make our spirits alive in him. This is the new birth. It is a spiritual one. This is highlighted in 1 John chapter 5, verses 4 to 6, where it reads, For whatsoever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. Who is he that overcomes the world, but he that believes that Jesus is the Son of God? This is he that came by water and blood, even Jesus Christ, not by water only, but by water and blood. And it is the Spirit that bears witness, because the Spirit is truth. It is important to note that being born again is essential, because we were all born sin-sick and hell-ready, under the control of the rudiments of this sinful and wretched world. The faith of an overcomer in the Messiah for victory is merited, seeing that the Messiah himself is an overcomer. He is the one that is worthy to take the book and to open the seals. He was slain and has redeemed us to the Almighty Creator by His blood, out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation, and has made us unto our Creator, kings and priests, and we shall reign on the earth. In John chapter 16, verse 33, the Messiah spoke these words about Himself, where He said, 
These things I have spoken unto you, that in me you might have peace. In the world you shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. An overcomer is one who allows the word of the Creator to abide in them, and walks in obedience to the principles and commands given by the Creator. This is highlighted in 1 John chapter 2, verses 13 to 14, where it states, I write unto you, young men, because you have overcome the wicked one. I write unto you, little children, because you have known the Father. I have written to you, fathers, because you have known him that is from the beginning. I have written unto you, young men, because you are strong, and the word of God abides in you, and you have overcome the wicked one. An overcomer uses the blood of the Messiah, the word of their testimony, and being ready to die for their faith in the Messiah, in order to defeat the enemy. This is stated in Revelation chapter 12, verses 10 to 11, where it reads, And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now has come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto the death, Overcomers depend totally on the spirit of the Almighty Creator, who dwells in them, to defeat the spirit of Antichrist in the world. This is highlighted in 1 John chapter 4, verses 3 and 4, where it states, And every spirit that confesses not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh, is not of God. And this is that spirit of Antichrist, whereof you have heard that it should come, and even now already is it in the world. You are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Finally, Overcomers boldly declares the blessed words written in Romans chapter 8, verses 31 to 39, where it states, What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? It is God that justifies. Who is he that condemns? It is Christ that died, yes rather, that is risen again, who is even at the right hand of God, who also makes intercession for us. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword. As it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. No, in all these things we are more than conquerors, through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus our Lord thanks for listening we hope that you were blessed and refreshed in your spirit remember to share this lesson with a fellow believer encourage them also to subscribe to our channel for other inspiring lessons have a blessed day